वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आर के सी ऑनलाइन क्लास फॉर फॉर्म एट साइंस सो लेट्स बिगिन विथ चैप्टर वन क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन एंड मैनेजमेंट सो वॉट विल दिस चैप्टर टीचर्स वेल इट्स अबाउट लर्निंग अबाउट कल्टिवेशन ऑफ क्रॉप्स एंड सेवरल एक्टिविटीज undertaken by farmers in crop production and its management beginning from practices of crop production cultivation of crops involves several activities undertaken by farmer over a period of time these activities or tasks are referred to as agricultural practices which involves preparation of soil sowing adding manure and fertilizer irrigation protecting from weeds harvesting and storage let's have a look at the step 1 which is preparation of soil one of the most important task in agriculture is to turn the soil and loosen it this allows the root to penetrate deep into the soil the loosened soil then helps in growth of earthworms and microbes microbes are the good microorganisms so these earthworms and microorganisms are friends of farmer since they further turn and loosen the soil and humus to it this process is known as tilling as well as plowing plows are made up of wood or iron before plowing soil needs watering The plowed field may have big pieces of crumbs which have to be broken with a plank. The field is leveled for sowing as well as for irrigation purpose. Before sowing the seeds, it is necessary to break soil to the size of the grain to get better yield. This is done with the help of various tools. The main tools used for this purpose are plow, hoe, and cultivate plow this is being used since ancient times for tilling the soil adding fertilizer to the crop removing the weeds and scraping of the soil this implement was earlier made of wood and has now been replaced by iron it is drawn by a pair of bulls or other animals such as horses or camels the next implement is hoe It is a simple tool which is used for removing weeds and for loosening the soil. It is a long rod of wood or iron. A strong broad and bent plate of iron is fixed to one of its ends and works like a blade. Our next implement is a cultivator. A tractor driven cultivator does nowadays plowing. The use of cultivator saves labor and time. Stage 2 is sowing. Sowing is the most important part of crop production. Before sowing, good quality of seeds are selected. Farmer prefers to use seeds which give a high yield. Let's perform an activity. Separating good seeds from damaged ones. Take a beaker and fill half of it with water. Put a handful of gram seeds and stir well. Wait for some time. You will see some of the seeds starts floating on the water damaged seeds becomes hollow and float good seeds settle down this is a good method for separating good healthy seeds from the damaged ones let us study about the tools used for sowing seeds traditional tools this tool used traditionally for sowing seeds is shaped like a funnel the seeds are filled into a funnel and they pass down through two or three pipes having sharp ends however as modern techniques seed drill is used for sowing with the help of tractors this tool sows the seeds uniformly at proper distances and depths it ensures that the soil covers seeds after sowing this prevents damage caused by birds 
Sewing by using a seed drill saves a lot of time and labor. An appropriate distance between the seeds is important to avoid the overcrowding of plants. This allows the plant to get sufficient sunlight, nutrients and water from soil. Stage 3 is adding manure and fertilizer. The substances which are added to the soil in form of nutrients for the healthy growth of plants are called manure and fertilizer. Manure is an organic substance obtained from the decomposition of plants or animal waste. Fertilizers are chemical substances which are rich in particular nutrients. Fertilizers are produced in factories. Some are urea, ammonium, sulfate, superphosphate, potash, NPK, etc. Let's see difference between fertilizers and manures. A fertilizer is an organic salt whereas manure is a natural substance obtained by decomposition of cattle dung, human waste and plant residues. A fertilizer is prepared in factories whereas manure can be prepared at fields. A fertilizer does not provide any humus to the soil. Manure provides a lot of humus to the soil. Fertilizers are very rich in plant nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Manure is relatively less rich in plant nutrients. There are some wonderful advantages of manure. An organic manure is considered better than a fertilizer. This is because it enhances the water holding capacity of the soil. It makes the soil porous due to which exchange of gases becomes easy. It increases the number of friendly microbes and it improves the texture of the soil. So students, that's the end of part one. Hope you have enjoyed it thoroughly. Thank you.